My name is Scott Ian. I'm in a band called Anthrax. I'm currently here today in London because I'm doing a speaking tour. I've been traveling all around England and Ireland and Scotland and Wales and uh, talking to people. <laughs> telling stories, telling stories from my life, from, from the time I was a kid all the way through the formation of the band. Um, and then up to anything people want to talk about, because there's a Q&A section as well. <laughs> well, what would I have? I, I, I wouldn't have had anything because the Earth would be blown up by, by the Cylons detonating nuclear weapons. So I think I'd be lucky if I had the clothes on my back, is basically all I would have with me, probably. What would I like to take? Um, as, much, as much booze as possible I would bring on the Galactic with me. Spend most of my days drunk. <laughs> I'm a fan of music. I don't, I don't put music into categories or genres. I either like it or I don't. So in, in a sense, all music is the same to me in that way. It's either, it either moves me or it doesn't. So for me, what I was listening to in the 80s, rap music, um, it was no different to me than heavy metal. It moved me in the same exact way. So it, it just always made sense in my brain that we should work together with Public Enemy and uh, someday we would make that happen. That's kind of how I always just thought about it. Chuck's voice just belonged with my guitars. It, it, it's something I always heard in my head and then, you know, in 1991 we were able to make that happen. All I know is I've been using a Seymour Duncan JB pretty much since the 80s and it sounds right with my tone. I can't tell you why. I can't tell you how it works. I don't have a fucking clue. I don't know how a guitar works. I don't know how amps work. As far as I'm concerned, if you told me wizards were behind it, I would believe you. I don't know how electricity works. I don't know how lights work. I don't know how fucking planes stay in the air. Uh, it's something I never think about. So all I know is that JB works. It, it, it was, there was one in a guitar I had in the 80s, and I said, this is the sound I want it to sound like. And then I just always used that. <laughs> there really is no, there's not so much a formula, it's just, we just get together in a room and someone plays a riff and that's how every record we've ever done has started. Someone comes up with a riff and that tiny little snowball starts rolling downhill for six, seven, eight months and eventually you, hopefully you have nine or ten songs that you, you love and you think are strong enough to, to, you know, to make a record. You know, everyone just kind of starts chipping in and chiming in and coming up with ideas and we, we just jam stuff over and over and over and over again and arrange it and, until you get a skeleton of music together, you know, for a song and then, and then out of that, everyone, people will have melody ideas, I'll have lyric ideas and, uh, you know, it just all kind of forms, but it always is it's the same way. It'll always just start from one riff. It's amazing to me that sometimes you, I think about, well, what if, what if we can't do it again? What if we get in a room and there's no good ideas because eventually you never know what if the shit the fucking well dries up and there's no riffs left you know what if at some point mathematically every single riff that you could possibly play on a guitar is has been taken and that could already have happened i always say sometimes basically in metal black sabbath already played every riff we're just basically borrowing what they did it would be an interesting thing uh, i've talked about this before if you can get some kind of math genius to figure out some kind of, on all, like, on all the blackboards, figure out some kind of equation for every riff, every possible permutation of every note and how you could possibly play it on the neck of a guitar and then figure out how many there are. I bet that can be done, I'm sure. There's some guy at like Oxford or Harvard or a place like that who would be able to figure that shit out. I'm hosting the Kerrang Awards. You know, it's weird because Kerrang! Magazine isn't the magazine that I grew up with. You know, it's, it's certainly changed its, its format and, you know, but uh, I get it because it's for a new generation of people and music that they're listening to. Every generation needs its own voice and it needs its own music and, and, uh, and I still have a lot of fun doing that show because, um, if anything, it kind of keeps me, it gives me a lifeline in a way to a younger audience and, and certainly a lot of bands that I never would have heard of before if I wasn't hosting Kerrang. They've always been very cool about letting us go off off the script, talking talking bullshit or, you know, just taking the piss or whatever, or not taking the piss. Sometimes they might have some jokes in there that you kind of read the joke and you're like, ah, oh, that's terrible. So <laughs> you just kind of skip over it. They, they, it's always very loose and 
I think over the years, myself and certainly Gwen Corey and I host together, we've kind of proven we're good at what we do when we do it. So everyone at Kerrang is just basically, they're just like, go for it, guys. Just, you know. So it's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd like to think I'm an integral part of the band, but maybe I'm replaceable. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. If I wasn't there, things would probably sound different. I'm sure. Just like if Charlie wasn't there, or Frankie wasn't there, or Joey, it, it would certainly sound different. If one of us was was a, there was a piece of the puzzle missing, it wouldn't be the same. The whole is greater than the individual parts with this band. And it, I think it's it's a, one of the best ways I could describe. I think you could say that though, really, about any great band. Generally, when you you look at most great bands, it's because, I'm saying this in all modesty, if you just look at bands in general, um, the band is always greater than the, the individual sum of, the, of its parts. I, I find that to be true most of the time. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to think that my, my guitar playing on stage at Anthrax has something to do with what's going on. <laughs> After all these years, I hope so.